Hello everyone, I'm Camila and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made this clock. For this project, I did a dirty pour, which is a pouring technique where you combine all different colors together into one cup, but you don't mix them. And then you pour the resin onto canvas or a different project. So without further delay, let's get to it. For this project, I will use MDF board painted with white acrylic paint. I protected the back and sides of the board with tape to prevent resin drips. I will use different shades of white, pink, champagne and some gold metallic powder. I added pigments to the resin and I'm about to start making dirty cups. I combine all colors without mixing. I just randomly pour one color on top of another. Right, the cups are ready and now I pour the cups on the board. I tilt the board in all directions to allow the resin spread all over the board and cover white spots. I use torch to get rid of the air bubbles, but also to warm up the resin so it will spread quicker. I use my leftover resin to cover the spots. Now when my board is completely covered with resin, it is time to remove the tape from the sides to allow resin to drip and cover the sides. This is the next day, the resin dried overnight and today I'm going to apply top coat. But before I do that, I need to place my clock numbers. To adjust the numbers evenly, I will use this paper stencil and I will use my pen to mark the spots where I want my numbers to be placed. It is not shown on the video, but I applied on the back of the acrylic numbers thin double-sided tape. So when I pour my resin on top, my numbers won't move. For my top coat I use glass cast epoxy resin. I already mixed my resin and I'm pouring it. At this point I still didn't realize that I haven't removed foil from my acrylic numbers. Yep, this is the moment when I freaked out, switched camera off and needed to work really really fast to remove the foil. Right, I removed the foil. It took me about 15 minutes, it wasn't easy and now you can see this beautiful gold mirrored effect. I used torch to get rid of the air bubbles. I remove any dust and let the resin dry overnight. I remove the tape from the back of the board using a heat gun. I use sandpaper to smooth the edges. I place the clock mechanism and stick the square piece of MDF board with glue to hold the clock mechanism in place. And finally, I add my gold clock hands. And this is the final product. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, I will show you how to make a resin clock using this white plastic clock from IKEA. I also recommend checking out my other videos. The proposition cards will pop up at the end of this video. Thanks again so much for watching and see you next week.